Hi everybody, my name is Josh Hall and I'm going to show you today how to build what I call the ultimate slider. Now sliders are huge right now. People are using them on their DSLRs. It makes the videos look fantastic. Now what I'm going to do is show you how to build a slider for $40 or less that looks professional and that gives you professional results. This, this is my version of the slider that I call the ultimate slider. The materials that you're going to need for this build are an 8 inch by 18 inch weld steel sheet, uh, a 1 16th inch by 1 and 1 4th inch uh, by 4 foot aluminum angled. You're going to need some kind of metal glue and I recommend Gorilla. I'm using a 10 inch fixed frame hacksaw with a carbon blade for this build and then you're going to need your 1 4th uh, 20 by 2 steel uh, flat head nut and bolt. You're going to need tub and shower replacement hardware. This is the tub enclosure sliding door rollers oval. These are 7 8 inches or 22 millimeters. The last thing that you're going to need is rounded steel circular 3 8 inch by 3 foot rods. You're going to need two of those. That's going to be the track for your slider. The first thing that you're going to want to do for this build is go ahead and take your 8 by 18 inch uh, metal sheet and measure 6 inches this way. This is going to be where you're going to cut your metal sheet. Now if you have access to an electrical saw, I would really recommend doing that. But as always, the best DIY and independent filmmaker thing to do is use what you have and right now a hacksaw is what I have. A carbon steel blade will do the trick. Just go ahead. The next thing that you're going to want to do is take your angled aluminum and you're going to want to measure five and a half inches up. Mark it at five and a half inches. You're going to need two of these. So go ahead and mark it five and a half inches and then take it another five and a half inches out. You're going to saw down on these. Now we're going to be building the two mini chassis. Um, I'm going to show you how on this one, but this is ultimately what we're going for. This is what is going to be that beautiful chassis that your um, circular rod is going to slide right across. So how we're going to do this is you've got to measure one inch from each end and then second you're going to mark one half inch beyond that mark. So this is the 1.5 inch mark. Once again, one inch in from that mark, which is going to be right here. This is the 1.5 inch mark. Okay, these are going to be where you're going to be placing your wheels. Your outer wheel is going to be on the 1 inch mark. The inner wheel is going to be on the 1 and 1 half inch mark. Okay, these outer wheels are going to create a very wide and solid base for your slider to slide across your rods. So now this is the tricky part. You've got to be very precise with this, which is why I'm showing it to you from the one inch mark and not from the end where you've got this wiggly head on here, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, you're going to be taking this uh, and you're going to be going up to right in between the seven, the seven eighths mark and the 15 sixteenths mark right there, okay? That's where you're putting them. Right in between the 7 eighths and the 15 sixteenths mark on your, um, on your measuring tape. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and do that for every single uh, wheel on here. All right, now that you've got all of your cross sections marked here um, on all of your different points, um, you're gonna go ahead and you're going to drill these guys out. I'm using a 5 32nd drill bit and make sure that your drill bits are okay for metal and then go ahead set them on that crossways there and drill away. Now that we've drilled all of our holes 
once again, you want to keep these end ones on one side and these uh, ones that are on the inside on one end as well. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is you have to take all of these screws, all of these uh, bolts, and we're going to screw them into our angled piece here. Okay, now we have all of the flathead bolts in our aluminum. And you've noticed which way I'm putting them into the aluminum. The other thing that you wanna check is to make sure that from this angle up that these two bolts are about the same distance up and that these two are about the same distance up. That's gonna be important when you go ahead and and put it up mounted on the track that they're about the same distance. If they're not, just go ahead and make another hole um, just a little ways away and do it. That's gonna be um, better to make another hole and, and put it a little bit further away than to have one that's just really off. So from this side, you can see that all of these are facing out. Now the beautiful thing about using these roller wheels from your from a shower is that they just slide right on. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take um, your screwdriver once again and just cinch these, cinch these nice and tight. They're going to give you a little bit of resistance which is going to be really nice for those slow slider dolly shots. So this one seems to be working well. Take the rest of our metal sheet that we used for the chassis of the slider and we're going to drill a hole in the very center of it because this is going to be the base for our guide rails. So it looks like about four inches here and about six inches there. This is a 732nd bit and we're going to go straight down into the metal here. You might find that a one quarter bit actually helps to really open up that hole uh, to about the size that you want. The reason why we're doing this is because now we're able to attach this with a nut straight to any stand. This is just a, a typical light stand, but you'll be able to attach it to any quick release um, on any tripod anywhere. And this is going to allow you to put the base right on um, any stand. And this is going to be where our guide rails are going to be attached to. And then our chassis will be able to ride along this just like that. And now we're to the point where we're going to actually mount our rails A and B onto our base plate here. So what I've done is uh, you can see I've marked A and B on there and I've done mine from A to B about five and a quarter inches apart. I'll take a damp cloth because this is what's going to help your Gorilla Glue um, actually adhere to the base plate and you're going to dampen all along the line there and do that on both lines so there you go and then take your rails dampen the bottoms of the rails just a little bit take your Gorilla Glue Do a nice thin bead across the entire thing. We are ready to go ahead and attach our guide rails. This is guide rail A. I just kind of place them on there. We're gonna fine tune them in a second. Take your uh, measuring tape here and just uh, slightly finesse the thing from from start to, to finish here go all the way down make sure that the rails are the same uh, distance apart as you go down the entire thing an easy way to do that is just to take your your measuring tape here at the end put it right at the put it right at the end of this guy here at your rail and then look at the top and go down. Just make sure that they're the same distance apart the entire way across. And then you're just going to wait for it to dry. Next, 
go ahead and find the center of your chassis. It's right there. You're just going to drill right on through there. Remember, if you're using Gorilla Glue, go ahead and take a wet cloth and apply it to the sides of the wheels because that moisture is going to actually allow that Gorilla Glue to make a nice strong seal. Go ahead and put it on the other side too. Add your Gorilla Glue. All along the sides of the wheels. Once you finish that, you can take your guide rails, flip it upside down, so you've got the rails on the bottom now, and then set it on top of your wheels. Now, the tough part is just kind of wiggling everything to make sure that it fits exactly right, because this is the really crucial stage in this build. If you're off by just a little bit, when you're, when you're running your chassis with the wheels along your guide rails, you're going to run into some problems um, with it trying to go over the edge or kind of scraping. You don't want that. You want it to be exactly smooth. So go ahead and really get down at the level of the wheels and just kind of, just kind of wiggle the whole thing and when you can see that the, it can slide like this without any problems then go ahead and just leave this on top of it overnight because this weight is going to help that Gorilla Glue keep the wheels right onto the chassis bed. So there you have it. That is how to build the ultimate slider. This slider costs around $40 and it's going to really up the production value of your films. As you can see um, I have my DSLR attached to it. You can attach any DSLR or your camera of choice to this uh, slider here. Remember, uh, if you've liked this video, thought it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe if you like these kind of videos and would like to see more. Uh, I'm going to send you away now with some, with some video that I've taken with the slider. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks.